Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, my name is Jessica. Today I'm doing a whole house extreme clean with me. I'm going to be doing some deep cleaning and I'm also going to be sharing some new cleaning products that I found at Target the other day. So I'll be sharing with you my opinion on those as well as like how they smell, how they perform, all of the things. So definitely stay tuned for that. But if you need some cleaning motivation, then you've definitely found the right video. So I hope you'll stay tuned and I hope that this will motivate you to clean your own homes. So I'm getting started in my bedroom. My sister was coming to visit and she does sleep with me when she comes. So I always want to make sure that I have fresh clean bedding on there for her. So I was just stripping the bed down and putting fresh clean sheets on there. I also washed the down comforter and the quilt that was on the bed. So you won't actually see me have those things on in this video because they took forever to wash and dry because they're bigger items. So I'm just putting on my mattress protector and my sheets and then I put those things on much, much later in the day and I didn't film it, but I did wash those as well. So I'm just going to dust all my furniture really quickly with my Swiffer duster. If you don't have one of these, they are a total lifesaver. They pick up and trap all of the dust and pet hair. So if you do have a dog or something or a cat that sheds, it will pick up their hair and trap it as well. So I love to just run this over my dark furniture in my bedroom that collects dust so fast and easy. And it literally takes me maybe a whole minute to do all of my furniture. So I love the Swiffer dusters. I also use them on my ceiling fan. And if you are new here, I do have two little girls. I have a teenager, a 13 year old. And then my youngest is almost six. She'll be six in December. And then I am pregnant those are girls. I can't remember if I mentioned I have two girls, <laughs> 13 year old and an almost six year old. And then I am pregnant. I am 25 weeks pregnant with a boy. He was very much a surprise, but we are so excited and especially excited that he's a boy is a whole new adventure for us. So yeah, I will try and update you a little bit more on my pregnancy in just a minute. So I have talked about this brand of athletic wear on my channel so many times. I've talked about it on Instagram. Still remains my favorite, still obsessed. Even though I'm pregnant, I'm still able to wear it. And that brand is Yvette Sportswear. So I'll have everything linked for you in the description um, that I talk about. But I wanted to quickly show you a few of my new pieces. So this tank is not new necessarily. I've had these tanks for month I'm so out of breath because <laughs> literally any amount of activity that I do it's hard for me to fill my lungs with air and like catch my breath but I've had these things forever they're super super cute you'll see kind of as I'm cleaning you'll see like the back but it's really cute and then there's sports bras this is a newer sports bra that I did get I did just size up so that it would accommodate my growing body right now but I really love this green color and then I got another one I'm going to show you in a minute as well but the leggings is what I really wanted to talk about and don't mind my dirty mirror it's so dirty I have to clean in here but the leggings so as you can see here these are just regular they're not maternity bless you my dogs are playing and sneezing they're not maternity but these are the light ones so they are very very stretchy they 
stretch to accommodate my growing belly, but they still fit everywhere else. They do have some that are like, um, I forget what they call them, but they are tighter and they're more, they're going to compress your tummy and hold that in more, which I love those as well. And those are my favorite, like when I'm not pregnant, but now that I'm pregnant, I'm wearing these that stretch. They're more of the lightweight ones. So anyways, their leggings are like butter. They're my favorite of all time. Highly, highly recommend them, but I got some other things I'm going to go show you really quickly. Okay, so I recently picked out some hoodies since it is colder now, and I did get this sports bra as well, and their sports bras are by far my favorite that I've ever, ever tried. They are so comfortable, but at the same time, I mean, just look how cute this is. It's just the little details like this cutout right here and then the really cute straps in the back that make all the difference. They do have padding. I believe you can remove them. Maybe not in this style. No, not in this style. Let's see. I want to be sure. Not in this style. In a lot of them you can and some of you and some of them you can't. I actually prefer you not being able to remove them because I do like them and sometimes when they fall out in the washing machine that aggravate that aggravates me. But this particular one here does not have removable pads, but it's so cute. It's got this nice thick support band here. Then the little pads in there, cute straps, and of course, this is really stretchy and it fits really comfortable and cute. I haven't worn this one yet. As you can see, the tag's still on it, but I have so many of their bras. I have this style in another color, so I can attest to how comfy they are. Can I help you? Can I help you? Did you want a belly rub? Did you want a belly rub? Anyways, these are the two hoodies. So this one is really cute because it has a pocket on the sleeve, which I just noticed a minute ago. And then on the back, it has their logo which I love. I love this rosy, this dusty rose color, and then this black and white pattern. And then this one here is just like a charcoal gray with the black, and it's really soft material, but I'm going to try them on so you can see what they look like. Okay, so this one is so cute. I'm smiling from ear to ear because when I put it on, I was so pleased with how soft it is on the inside. So let me see if I can show you. This material is what is on the inside so it's super super soft but it's also really warm i am so impressed yes as you can see this is really cute it does have pockets they zip up which is nice if you're going for a run or walk you can put your keys or your phone or something in there and keep it secure it does have a hoodie but i think this v shape or this y shape i guess is slimming too they really pay attention to the details i feel like but it's really, really cute. It's a little bit, it's almost like, I don't think I'll be able to wear this for much longer because my bump is about to protrude out of it, but I definitely will be wearing this one a lot after he's here. Okay, and then there is this dusty rose one that I showed you guys. I love it. It is so comfy. I just sized up so that it would fit my belly, but it will still be really cute and nice to wear after I have him. But I love this little Yvette symbol here that they have. I love the black and white with the pink. And then it has, like I should, is it this sleeve? Or is it this sleeve? Oh, it's this sleeve. It has the really cute pocket, which I think is so cute. I wonder, I think my phone would fit in there. Let's see. Oh my gosh, you guys. The phone does fit in there and I have the large iPhone, the larger one, the Max, and it fits in there. That is so cool. So if you were going for a walk and you wanted to like put your AirPods in and listen to music and you didn't want to hold on to your phone, you could put it in the sleeve of this hoodie. I want to, you don't have to, it's just really cute to have on there. But I'm going to try to get you guys a view of what the back of this looks like. So that's what the back looks like. Hopefully you guys can see, I'm trying to do my best here and show you, but Yes, I love it. I just wanted to share all those things with you because I did get them and I wanted to share them with you because it is winter now and I'm starting to pick up more like winter based items, but the leggings obviously are my number one favorite thing from Yvette, so definitely check those out. And I will have everything that I showed in today's video linked for you in the description box so you can easily find it and check it out for yourself. They also have multiple colors in a lot of these things. So maybe if you didn't like one of the colors that I had, I'll also have a coupon code down there for you guys to save 15% off. They are also having a Black Friday sale. So that is awesome. You definitely want to check that out. But I'm going to go ahead and get cleaning. Okay, so I know a lot of you don't follow me on Instagram. If you do want to follow me on Instagram, 
I highly suggest it because I share a lot more over there, especially like pregnancy stuff and updates and things that we've bought, stuff for the nursery, like all of that kind of stuff. I don't share a lot over here. I don't really know like what to share with you or what you would want to know as far as this pregnancy goes. So I'm just going to kind of put out some information and hopefully it maybe answers the questions I know a lot of you had asked. But yeah, I'm 25 weeks pregnant and everything is going really smooth. I don't really have a lot to update. That's why it's hard for me because like there's just really no new news. Everything is kind of progressing as it should. I'm obviously growing and he's healthy and I'm due at the beginning of March. I'm actually due March 11th but we know for sure that he will be here no later than March 4th, possibly even earlier, just because I am 35 and they um, just go ahead and induce you at 39 weeks automatically when you're that age, I guess. So I'm fine with that. I'm not complaining at all because at that point, I'm going to be completely miserable and ready for him to be here. So I definitely won't go any later than March 4th. So we have about three months left and um i don't know what else like to say um i am feeling pretty good i have a lot of back pain um and a lot of sciatica nerve pain i have a back brace that i do wear sometimes i've even worn it in a couple of my videos but i've been doing some like prenatal yoga and that helps too just stretching but other than that i feel pretty good and yeah there's really nothing to report I am working slowly on his nursery. We have painted it and we do have furniture and I've shared a little bit of that on my channel a couple of weeks ago and I do plan on doing a nursery tour and sharing all of that. I'm also going to be doing a nursery like clean and organize with me at some point in December. So definitely look for that, but I'll have nursery content coming soon. I just really haven't done much in there. Really, I haven't done anything in there, to be honest. I'm just kind of collecting decor as I find it, and then I'm just going to have to go in there and like let my imagination go to kind of figure out how I want everything. But so far, it's turning out really, really cute. And I did share, like I said, like the pink color and his furniture, or well, a little bit of his furniture. I didn't share all of it, but I will be sharing everything for sure. So definitely make sure you are subscribed. So I don't really like the CLR bathroom cleaner. Don't recommend it. It smells horrible and it didn't work that great. I ended up using my Lysol mold and mildew with bleach foaming bathroom cleaner, but I do love this tool here and I'll try and remember to link it for you guys. I got it at Target and it's by Clorox and it's like an extended length um scrubby thing and it helps my back so much it's such a lifesaver so i highly recommend one of those scrubber brushes and like i said i got it target but i will try and link it for you keep thinking that i could have done something but now i'm left with an empty heart no so I'm filling up my bathtub and I did put some bleach in there and I'm going to run that through the jets for about five to 10 minutes. That's how I always clean my jets and they never get build up or dirty in there. I've tried several of the different hacks that you see going around for cleaning your jets and they never work for me. And I think it's honestly because I've never let them get like where they get a lot of buildup in there because I always do the bleach and that really keeps them nice and clean. Um, so that's like my favorite way to clean my jets about once a month. I'll run bleach water hot bleach water through the jets and then in here I'm just using I ended up like I said using that Lysol cleaner and I'm just kind of doing Not like a super deep clean of the shower I've just wanted to clean over the areas that the water touches and there was some a little bit of like mold and mildew starting to grow in there so I just went over those spots for now because it was that this shower sucks to clean. Like, honestly, I love my shower, but cleaning it is not my favorite. Reverse. 
So I did lie earlier. I said that my quilt wasn't done, but I forgot that it was kind of done. It was damp. So I just put it on the bed and I put the fan on it and let it air dry the rest of the way. But while I was making my bed, I realized there was a lump in the sheets and I pulled up and realized my daughter's underwear were in there. They got trapped in there when they washed. So I thought that was funny, but I did still have my down comforter in the dryer. So I was waiting on that to dry, but that went on as well. And now I'm just using hot bleach water to mop my floors my little robot vacuum vacuumed in there for me while i was downstairs having a break and right now you see him come in there and i went ahead and set him to go to his base and a charge so he would be out of the way and not mop up the bleach water Okay, before I get started in the kitchen, I wanted to kind of show you my Christmas decor in here. It's really not, <laughs> it's really not decorated how I want it. I don't know, I just kind of gave up and I'm not really picked up where I left off in here. I do have a few things, but I don't like how that is. Um, that has a candle in it that lights up. Tucker is crying and I don't know why. He's upstairs and he's not trapped. So if you hear him crying, I'm sorry, but anyways. Yeah, and then I have this Merry Christmas banner here that I haven't hung up. So I might hang that up in this video. I'm not sure. But then over here on the table, so we have some Halloween candy still. <laughs> but we have my cute little pedestal that I showed in last week's video. And this is from Zizo and Co. They made this for me for Christmas and surprised me. I'm so obsessed. I love it. It's so cute as a little Christmas tree. And hopefully I don't break it. Um, anyways, I just have these like Christmassy flowers sitting on here and then, um, let's see over here, Christmas wise, I have my little Santa warmer from Walmart. He's old, but he's so cute. I love him, but yeah, I got him at Walmart years and years and years and years ago. So they don't still have him, but I just have him. And then I have this little Christmas tree here, which I do normally have here. I just moved it because um, I was using that plug. And then I have that Merry Christmas sign. And then over here is going to be our hot chocolate bar, but we haven't set it up yet. I'm still looking for some things that I want, but this is just our little coffee station. But I did go ahead and put up my little hot chocolate sign. I love it. I think I got that at Hobby Lobby last year. So they might still have it. Um, I'm not sure, but I have a really cute little Santa. Well, it's not Santa. I don't know. Is it in here? Yes, it's right here. I keep my mugs in here where you're supposed to keep wine bottles. <laughs> um, it's not Santa. It's Mrs. Claus Cookie Company. I got this on the dollar spot 
from Target. I think I did get this last year. I can hardly find anything on the dollar spot anymore, but I did find that. So I usually keep that there. And then as you can see, I need to clean my coffee maker. But anyways, the kitchen's really not that messy, but I am gonna go ahead and clean it up in here. And um, then I'm gonna do the living room and then I've gotta do the floor. So let's go ahead and get started. So let me know in the comments if you have started your Christmas shopping yet. I have not. I have both of my daughter's birthdays are in November and December. So Maddie just had her birthday and then Kinsley has hers coming up in a couple of weeks. So I have shopped for that, but I haven't even gotten started on Christmas and I know that I need to very, very soon. Like I probably will as soon as Thanksgiving is over but I feel so behind. So let me know if you have started and let me know like if you've started, are you done or have you just started or have you not started at all? Because I have so much shopping to do and I really don't even know what I'm going to get them because I feel like they're such hard ages because teenagers are so hard to shop for. I feel like because they obviously don't want toys and then electronics are so expensive and then clothes like they want to pick those out themselves and or they need to try them on i feel like so it's really hard and then kinsley has so many toys and she doesn't really play with them she plays with like the same toys over and over again she loves to play with like horses and my little pony and like cars and that's pretty much all she plays with or she likes to play outside so it's really hard for me so i'm really struggling but let me know if you guys have finished your shopping yet Okay, so I found these two new cleaners by Bona at Target. Now, normally Bona makes the hardwood floor cleaner, the hardwood mop. I have used that in some of my videos. I don't use it a whole lot. I do like it. I just like other things more. But I saw these and I just had to try them. And I went ahead and got both since they come in the lemon zest and then the orange one, orange blossom. And okay, so here's my opinion on them. They clean really, really well. I'm very, very impressed with how they clean. They do not leave any streaks or residue on my granite, which is great. I can also like wipe the outside of my microwave or if I have any glass or anything like that. And I don't have to worry about them leaving streaks. They say they work on stainless steel. I did not love them on my stainless steel. I ended up going back over with my Indust, which is what I normally use. They might work okay, but I think because I already use Indust on my stainless steel that maybe there was some buildup and it didn't really like go together, but they do work really, really well. Um, they don't smell amazing to me. I mean, that's just personal preference. They're very citrusy, but not like in a good way, in my opinion, but they're not a deal breaker because they do work so well. So I do really like them. And then I'm just cleaning my microwave really quick. I always just put a bowl of water in there and I let that boil. Usually six minutes does the trick. It gets really steamy in there. And then when I take that out, I'm just able to wipe it clean and it works like a charm. That Bona cleaner did work very, very well on my gas range stovetop. It didn't leave any streaks. It got on the cooked off food that I had on there. And um, yeah, I really have no complaints as far as how it performs at all. I do wish it smelled a little better, but again, that's just my opinion. You might smell it and think it smells really good. I just think that they could have done a little bit better job on the scent, but I'm very particular about smells so it might just be me but if you are in target i mean they may sell them other other places as well but target for sure has them and if you do go to target and you have the opportunity to smell them at least kind of pop the lid open and smell it and see what you think Better pack your 
So I had let my stove grate soak in this hot soapy water while I stopped and went and picked my daughters up from school. So they had soaked in here for about 30 minutes in hot soapy water and then I'm just taking that abrasive brush and scrubbing them to get all the cooked on, burnt on food off of them. And that's kind of what I'll do about once a month. I'll clean them this way and then in between I'll just kind of wipe them clean. So as you can see here, I did try the Bona on the stainless steel because it says you can use it on there and I think it might be okay. It's just that I usually use Indus and I think that leaves a little bit of like a waxy buildup on the appliance. So when they mixed, it didn't really go too well for me. Um, so I still prefer the Indust. I think it leaves them looking so shiny for so many days in a row before I have to clean them again. So that's still going to be my number one preferred way to clean my stainless steel, but it may work really well for you. Now I'm using my Bissell Crosswave Cordless Max to do the floors. I just have their Bissell solution in there with some hot water and this vacuums and mops at the same time. So it saves me so much time and it does really clean the floors really, really well, especially when you have pets. It's so helpful and Bailey, my dog, sheds really bad and it does great with her hair. So I love cleaning my floors this way and it is cordless as you can see and my charge has lasted me 30 minutes or more. I've never had it die on me but I've been cleaning for 30 minutes and it's still going. However, the battery indicator is letting me know that it is low. So I would say 30 minutes for sure you can get out of this thing. So now in the living room, I just wanted to freshen up my pillows and blankets. So I'm using the Cincy Fresh in the scent clothesline. I talked about this in last week's video, as well as link to where you can get it if you're interested. But I basically only had to freshen up in here because it was pretty much clean, but I did want to go ahead and do the floors. Hey, 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 I just wanna see 
And last but not least, I had the front room's floors to do and then I was done. So I'm just running the Bissell Crosswave over the floors in here. And then I was all done with the whole house. It was nice, fresh, and clean and ready for my sister to come visit. So I hope you guys enjoyed this cleaning video and I hope it gives you tons of cleaning motivation. Don't forget to leave me a comment, a thumbs up, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you are new so you can be notified when I upload videos in the future. I upload every Wednesday. So I will see you guys next week and I will see some of you over on Instagram. In the meantime, I hope everyone is doing well. And yeah, thank you guys so much for all of your love and support and I will see you soon. Can I help you? Are you laying in my bed? Are you curled up in the Christmas blanket? Are you curled up in the Christmas blanket? You're so beautiful. Yes, you are. You're so beautiful. Mm, you love me in her? Yeah, you love me in her? Yeah. What about you, bud? Hey, what about you? Tucker. Tucker.